Hey, great news. I heard you had some money coming in. Maybe it's a tax refund or a stimulus check. What should you do with it? That's good for you. Not me or someone trying to sell you something. What should you do with this newfound money? Let's get into it. I heard there may be for, for many of you, some of you, uh, a second stimulus check. And also it's the time of year that people start thinking in the US, because I see Michelle from Australia, in the US we start thinking about tax refunds. Uh, and I see people posting about all the cool things they're gonna do with their tax refund and their stimulus check. And I wanna be that big brother, that, that person who's not gonna, I'm not gonna put a wet sponge on your dream to blow this money, but I do want to be that person to say, let's just think about it for a second. Let's just think about for a moment. I, I, I know it could be life-changing money for some people to, to feel like that's amazing that you got this money coming in, but let's try to, let's try to develop some money habits in a way that are good for you long-term. So really using, using your stimulus check and using your tax refund, uh, as an exercise to develop healthier money habits. So when money comes into you, whether it's be, whether it's from your income, whether it's from an inheritance, you win the lotto, you get overtime, you take a second job, you actually know what to do with it in a way that takes emotion out of it. Because when you get that check in your hand or in your account and you see the money and you don't have a plan for it, instantly you're gonna find things that you need, need not want. You're going to convert a want into a need. Like I needed that thing that happens to be exactly the amount of that check. So timing is perfect. You're going to take it as a, a serendipity uh, sort of moment. And you no, don't do that. So here, here's what we're going to do. You got to You got a check coming in. And if you do have a stimulus check coming in, or you do have um, uh, a tax refund coming, let me know the amount and we can just, um, we'll talk about it. But this is what, this is what you should do. Take a motion out of it and actually use step four in the Ula Green Gap. So actually, let me go ahead of that. Let me go ahead of that. If you do not have a base emergency fund of $3,000, this is gonna be the most boring part and you're all gonna drop off this live right now. <laughs> but it's just that, this is it, man. Like if you don't have at least three, before I'm gonna give you step four of the Green Gap on how to apportion these checks, if, fully fund that base fund of $3,000. And if, if your stimulus check and your tax refund doesn't cover that, then like sell some stuff, take get some overtime, side gig. Like uh, emergency fund is like a big deal. And over time, the green gap formula does fund it to seven months, which sounds just crazy, but it will. And it, it's valuable. It will give you and your family security. But yeah, Susan, I'm not getting a tax refund either, and I'm not getting a stimulus check, so I, I feel you, but a lot of people are, and I want you to be responsible with it, and responsible is a bad word, but I want you to just be like money smart with it. I want you to become a money machine that when money comes your way, you are a good steward of it, and you're responsible with it, so then I believe, actually, in a weird sort of way, the universe will deliver more money your way because you're responsible with it. So step one, fully fund a base emergency fund of $3,000. Okay, let's say you've got that. Now you still have the stimulus check or you still have the tax refund coming in. Amazing. Um, this is what you do. You go to step four of the ULA Green Gap formula and you apportion it. I'm gonna go because I wanna do math in my head. I wanna go to $1,000. It just so happens your refund stimulus combination totals $1,000 and you get to have some fun too. So just hang with me. You take 45% and you reduce your debt and you take 45% and you invest it and you take 10% and have some fun. It's that simple. We took this, we took this crazy idea, like your, your mind is turning about what should I do with my stimulus check and what should I do with my refund? And you just automatically in a moment using this formula, does, you have a clear path of what to do with it. You've taken the emotion out of the decision and you've turned yourself into just this robotic money machine where a thousand dollars just came here and you go, okay, I clearly know what to do with that. My base emergency fund is funded. I'm taking 45% and I'm gonna pound it to debt. I'm gonna take 45%, I'm gonna invest it. And I'm gonna take 10% for fund. So 450 to our debt, 450 invested and a hundred bucks dinner, save it for a weekend getaway, whatever you wanna do, blow it. You have permission now to blow that portion of it. Because just think of what you're telling the universe and yourself is that just start 
feeling what this feels like every time you have some extra income. Your debt is going down. Your investment portfolio is growing. So the security for you and your family in your future is growing. And you're still giving yourself some permission to have some fun along the way. So that's it. It's a short, sweet. That's why the Ula Green Gap is such a cool thing is it takes these complicated debates and discussions and it just turns it into like, I clearly, clearly finally know what to do with this. Thanks for hanging out with us on YouTube. And if you're looking for more balanced growth and purpose in your life, check out this video right here. Also, be part of this amazing community by subscribing below.